Hi, I'm Joe Walensky from Blink, and I'm meeting with some of the many presenters who will be at our Convey UX event coming up in Seattle in February. And I'm meeting today with Jamana Al Hashal. Hello, Jay. How are you? Hi. Good to see you again, Joe. And uh, where are you speaking to us from today? I am speaking to you uh, from snowy Seattle, downtown Seattle, at the Zillow offices on the 31st floor of the Russell Investment Building. All right. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, if you're not familiar with Jay, she's the mobile development manager at Zillow, and she's responsible for their core mobile product strategy, design, and development. Uh, she graduated from McAllister College and then took her uh, graduate studies uh, here in Seattle at the University of Washington for a uh, master's of communications and digital media. Uh, her topic in, at the conference is building products on the cutting edge of mobile. So why don't you give us a little taste of that, uh, Jay? Absolutely. So um, the team that I help lead here is the, the Android and iOS um, mobile teams building uh, the best of breed um, real estate and rentals applications for Zillow. Uh, being a company like Zillow that's a Technology-loving company, we love being on the edge. Uh, the team is moving very fast. Uh, we get to learn a lot. We get to do a lot. Um, and over the past few years, we've um, developed a few strategies for how to deal with this continuous change in these platforms. The number of devices is exploding. The number of technologies that you can incorporate within your applications is exploding. Um, and the, these devices are really kind of coming against all these traditional design and technology paradigms that we, we grew up learning. Um, it's no longer uh, sufficient to just have personas with the long tail uh, of users that is available, for example, uh, th th that now have access to your products. Um, with the amount of information that you have on your users, you can personalize these experiences almost down to the individual, uh, which is something that kind of goes against just defining a few personas and trying to serve those. That can still help you define um, what you prioritize from a business perspective, but the opportunity to serve each user individually is just huge. Um, so the challenge is also moving from optimizing just an experience on a screen, a singular experience, to optimizing uh, a more fluid experience going into the experience of a mobile device and going out of the experience into a different channel or into a cross-channel onto the same platform. Um, so what we're going to be doing in the session is telling you a little bit more about our experiences from the trenches, as it were, uh, what has the mobile team at Zillow learned, um, what strategies are we employing for design, for content, and for development? Uh, and talk a little bit more about trends we're seeing, trends we think are going to be big, and um, how can you basically prepare your team and yourself for um, a landscape of development that is continuously shifting from underneath you? So one of the uh, things that uh, I wanted to ask you about was uh, in actually testing uh, your designs uh, with devices. Um, how do you do that? Do you uh, work with a, uh, an inventory of, of uh, actual devices? Do you do things with virtual devices? Uh, what's your strategy for that? Our strategy for testing is is multi tiered really we do uh, a, a ton of different kinds of testing. Uh, the number one thing we advocate for is try to get as much of the infrastructure automated as possible. Um, so anything on the API level we have automated anything on the uh, services level we have automated. And then recently within the UI level, we have introduced automation through a framework called Appium, which helps us validate that we did not break anything um, that we have not touched basically uh, the, uh, this release. Uh, so this set of uh, automation suite uh, that we wrote on Appium can, can either be deployed on in the device lab that we have here inside of Zillow. Uh, they can be run on machines, on simulators. Uh, and there are companies that offer services where you could upload your uh, your tests and run them on a on a suite of, uh, of different devices. Another thing that we like to use, which Google Play provides, 
um, is the ability to do incremental rollout. So you roll out only f uh, an alpha group, a beta group, to 5% of your population, 10% of your population, and learn as you go. Uh, another important part of our testing, a regular part of our release cycle, um, is usability testing, which we do uh, with every, pretty much with every new feature. Uh, before it releases to see how the users are reacting to it. Are there any major pitfalls? Uh, in addition to all the initial design um, vetting that we do in-house and heuristic evaluations of the designs, uh, we end up doing a usability test pretty much before every release and regular benchmark testing. All right, great. Well, uh, thanks for spending a few minutes uh, talking about this with us, and uh, we will talk more at the conference coming up in February. I look forward to it. Thank you so much. Thank you.